Hello my friends! Today we are going to be learning how to write fingerprint poems. And the whole idea of a fingerprint poem is to show how you are unique and special and how you're kind of set apart from other people. So fun fact about fingerprints, if you don't already know, is no person has the same fingerprint as somebody else. So the idea of this project is to really show how you are unique um, and just being um, kind of creative with something that is poetry and science at the same time. So to save a little bit of time in this video, I've already created all of the steps in order to basically make the outline for your fingerprint poem. And I'm going to go through those really quickly with you. And then I'm going to show you how to actually create the larger scale image so that when you write out the poetry in the form of your fingerprint, it makes a little bit more sense. So the first thing you are going to need is two pieces of paper. I would prefer if you had um, unlined paper. It's just a little bit easier than lined paper, but if you don't have any at home, that's totally fine. You can use lined paper as well. The only reason is like your fingerprint has so many lines in it as well, and then there's lines and lined paper. I just didn't want you to get confused, but anything will work. So Besides those two pieces of paper, you are also going to want a black marker of some kind. If you don't have black, uh, blue would work well or green, but you wanna stay away from colors that are too light. As you can see, Miss Volk already did her thumb. Basically what you're going to do is take the Crayola pen, make sure it's not a Sharpie because Sharpie is not really good for you if it seeps into your skin, um, but you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna wanna color all over it so that it is colored in like that. And then you are going to take a piece of paper and you are going to press your fingerprint right in there until it looks, sorry, like that. When you are done, I would hold it on for maybe like three to five seconds and then you can lift it off of the paper. And then at the very top, I just wrote a fingerprint poem and do a little squiggly and I put the rules right at the top just to help me remember as I was thinking of things. So what I'm basically trying to find is six to ten things about my fingerprint um, that reminds me of something else um, using similes and metaphors. So we're using the words like or as to describe or compare your fingerprint to something else. So I came up with seven things. Looking at my fingerprint I said that it reminded me of a corn maze, of swirls in ocean waters, you know, those tide pools that go down, it kind of reminded me of that. Um, it reminded me of a bullseye, so kind of like if you're looking and there's all the swirls in a um, bullseye. My husband is a big hiker and he has a lot of hiking maps, so it also reminded me of his maps where it shows trails up a mountain because they look like swirls going up a mountain. Um, it reminded me of, this is kind of random, but it reminds me of the maze on kids menus. We take our niece out to dinner sometimes or like even when I was young and you would wait for dinner at the restaurant and they'd have like that mat that you can color on and there's always that maze that you can try to figure out. That took up a lot of time so I would always do those and try to figure it out before dinner came. It reminded me of the Starry Night um, picture. It's a famous painting. If you have not seen it, you should look it up and it will totally, um, I think a lot of fingerprints will remind you of the Starry Night as well. And then I also said it reminds me of like, if you were able to look above a tornado down at it, what it would look like swirling downwards. So this is part one. And now the next part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to look really close at my fingerprint and I'm going to try to blow it up bigger on here. So what I'm going to do is if you had a magnifying glass, that would be awesome. I do not have a magnifying glass, but it would be super helpful to have if you could. Um, and I'm going to start kind of drawing the major lines that I see. I'm using like I have kind of a fleshy colored um, marker so I'm going to use this to draw a larger scaled um, picture of what my thumbprint looks like. So So 
something that is important here, like that I don't want you to get caught up on, because I know that I was thinking of this as well when I was looking at this the first time, but there are going to definitely be inaccuracies here. So like, I do not expect you to count exactly how many lines are in your fingerprint, but the general shape of the lines, that is what you're definitely looking for. Like the shapes that you see kind of roughly. and just kind of showing you like roughly how much time this can take because I don't want you to feel rushed. And it's gonna look a little silly, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a little bit different because it's a fingerprint and that is just kind of what they look like. Okay, so like I said, this looks really silly and yours does not need to look exactly like mine because we have different fingerprints. But basically I took where I saw the swirl towards the bottom of my thumb and I just worked about halfway up um, and I noticed I had a lot of lines that like started over here but kind of broke midway. It's kind of hard to do this backwards, but see how there's like these little breaks? I had a couple of those, so I just wanted to make sure that was as accurate as possible. When you're writing, you could always do you know like sentence one two three four five or sorry four could continue over here and then five can continue line six line seven line eight line nine line ten line eleven line twelve and then maybe you could have like a fun just like end of poem sentence in here whatever you want to do um but basically, when you have this completed, you're going to have these two references to work off of, right? You have your six to 10 things that your fingerprint reminds you of, and you have your large scale image of your fingerprint. What you can do here, now that you have your fingerprint um, drawn out, is you can take another color, like I love any and all colors, especially like, like bright or neon or pastel colors, anything like that. So you could take another bright color and you're just going to, in between or on the lines up to you, start writing your poem. If you decide like, I don't want to write on this, I wanna kind of just keep it, you want it to be extra, you could have a third piece of paper and you could use this as your reference and you could write, your fingerprint poem here in the shapes that you see in your large scale reference. So when you're done, my friends, you're going to have for sure this piece that has all of your information on it. And do you see how I wrote really big? So when I'm holding it like this, you can clearly read what I said. It's in colors that are obvious on the screen. Definitely something that is easy to read from far away. And you see this is easy to see from far away as well. When you are taking your photos, friends, to show us all of this, it is an absolute expectation that it is done, not in pencil because we can't see pencil, but it needs to be done in some sort of very obvious, clear color and penmanship. So make sure that you are taking your time with this and you don't rush through it. I'm super excited to see how your fingerprint poems come um, about. It's not quite as silly as some poems have been in the past that we've worked on, but it's still meant to be really fun and you can be really creative in what your fingerprint reminds you of. Um, just make sure that you're not using any like hyperboles or anything in here. You want to keep it as um, as real and as like authentic as you can to your fingerprint and what it reminds you of. If you have any questions about your fingerprint poem, please don't hesitate to reach out. Make sure you wash your thumb later because you wouldn't want this to get on other things. And we look forward to seeing all of your hard work.